Good morning, everybody. It's Hope from Cedarholic Gardens again. And I am showing you those um, peat pellets that I planted a week ago. I believe it was the 15th or the 16th. You can tell by my video um, that I posted a uh, that day. Um, this is what I have gotten so far. I've got some seed sprouts already. Nothing with true leaves yet, but I've gotten some oak leaf lettuce, some pak choy, some of Trinity's Butter Crunch, and, oh, what's that one? Purple Lady Bok Choy. And just wanted to show you, I also had a couple things die. My Siberian Kale died. And I don't know if it was because I let them dry out or what exactly the reason was. I have been checking on them um, pretty much every day. So I'm pretty sure it was probably they dried out and not enough water. But in addition to this, I wanted to show you a little bit of a reveal. I got a few more seeds. I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to be planting for winter. Not just this year, but in future. Got some Marvel of Four Seasons lettuce. From home. This is Lake Valley Seeds. I bought this at my local retailer. Um, nursery Sonoris. I linked that in my last video. I bought... Um, this from Curtis Stone, the Urban Farmer. This is Red Kitten Spinach, and I got this one because Patrick definitely grows this one. I also got some Red Salad Bowl lettuce, only because I really enjoyed this last summer and I wanted more. I got some Cyber Frill Kale from Pine Tree Seeds because Patrick, is, this is another one that Patrick um, Dolan from One Yard, Revolution, Re, One Yard Revolution grows and does really well with. I think he planted something like 300 plants of this last season, and he and his wife ate good last year. Then he grows uh, Mizuna. I'm going to grow parsley because that's going to be a year-round thing once we finally get our hoop house or greenhouse or whatever actually going. I also um, bought this one because it's a mustard green, and mustards are, on most Asian greens, are very cold tolerant. I got a couple more things in here from... Johnny selected seeds. I'm not quite sure what, but let's find out together. Um, this is a pretty open for me because you know my one-handed situation, so Mark helps me with that. Ah, this is Spars. It is a hybrid lettuce, but it's a giant um, romaine type. I'm with the recall. I'm definitely growing my own romaine from here on out. I'm not even going to try to buy it at the store. And then here's more Red Kitten. I had ordered this from Curtis Stone and Johnny's, as you see, before I did my video about getting organized, so I didn't realize I had ordered it. So, a reminder, get organized. I got some Starboard Kale, also grown by Patrick. So, um, I, I kind of take his videos as teaching tools and recommendations, especially since he and I both are in Zone 5B, Chicago. He's on the far end and I'm on the south end, but, you know, it's the same zone. And then I bought a couple other things that I just wanted to try. This I got from Annie's Heirloom Seeds. And this is a green striped kusha squash, which is like a kind of neck pumpkin. Kind of like that warty one I showed you, but it's green and white. I've never grown it. I've never had it. So I'm going to try it this season. I am told you my planting this coming season is going to be very squash forward. And I've never heard of this one. This is called Winter Dickinson Squash. And here on the photo, it looks very much like a pumpkin, but if you go to her website, it looks very oblong, almost like a giant curry type of squash. So I'm really interested to see how that turns out. And this are Shelly from Works Orange Sweet Snacking Pepper Seeds. She had those little mini bells, a bag of them, and she gave me one of them that was orange, which is the one I wanted to taste, and it was so good, I thought, okay, it's probably a hybrid, but we'll find out. I'm, I saved the seeds, and I'll see what happens. And even if it turns out to be an orange bell or whatever, it's still food. So I just wanted to, you to see what I'm up to a week later after I posted that last video. If you haven't seen it, I'll post a link either here or here, so please go back and watch it. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. Um, you guys know the SOP, and remember, as always, blessings of bounty to you and yours in this and every gardening season. And may your gardens always bring you joy. Until next time, God bless.